does that even mean, Bower's Game Corner? We are back again today for another Bower Family Learns, and today I'm here with my six-year-old son, Luke. Hi. And little baby Amelia, who's going to be on my team. Hey, what's up? And we're playing Race to the Roof, an exciting game of pursuit from the basement to the attic from Ravensburger. This is for two to four players, ages five to ten. So, in this, Luke guessed it, you're going to have to try and race all the way to the roof. Now, right here. I've set up the board. There's 16 of these tiles, 16 rooms, and each time it's going to be a slightly different room. It's going to look a little bit different, all right? So uh, we got it set up. Luke decided he's going to be blue. I'm going to be red. And then Luke, would you like to go first? Yeah. All right, so you're going to roll the dice, and you're going to move that many number of spaces. Now on a one through five, you're just going to move normal. So move five spaces, and then you'll be on your merry way. But on a six, you're going to draw one of the tiles. And the tiles... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, nope, no, no, I'm sorry. I, I misspoke. You need... Or you misunderstood. Because I can explain it. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> two, three, four. Nope. So you start right here. So you go one. Two, three, four. And you get five, so you're gonna go one more. Five. There you go. Yeah, this would be a really quick game if you went from tile to tile. Yes, yes it would. All right, now if you ever get a six, that's when you get to do something special. So I go four. Ah, your turn. Whoa, you get a six. So instead of moving six spaces, you, well, that comes out of place pretty easily. You are going to draw the top tile and look at the picture and find that picture somewhere around the house. Find that thing somewhere around the house. So you're gonna put it out here so everybody can see. It's a ship. We need to be looking for a little toy ship. So look her all around for a toy ship. Hmm. This is hard. Uh, oh, oh, I see it. It's in the bathtub with the that guy and that kid and the duck. <laughs> wow. So that's super lucky. What that means is since now you found the picture or someone else can help you too. It's not a race. You move your piece all the way up to that red circle. Oh my goodness. This is going to be quick. Yeah, you kind of don't want to roll a six anymore, do you? Now, luckily for us, I was wondering what happened if we land on the same space and it's not actually covered in the rules because clearly when they play tested this, that never happened. Three. Uh, one, two, three. Yeah, so I'm in the second room with the, the little baby grandma laughing at the dad. Five. Nice. Make sure you roll it on the board, okay? Oh, then this goes back in the box. We won't see that piece again. One, two, three, four. Five. There you go. One. Bloop. Four. Five. Four. One, two, three, four. Amelia's not happy with my play. She's like, come on, Dad, roll a six. One. How about a one instead? Amelia. Five. One, two, three, four. Uh-oh, you're creeping up to the attic. I out rolled my piece. Four. One, two, three, four. Hey, I'm in the room with the person listening to a record while they're watching TV and somebody's waving at them. Four. Slow and steady, that's what you want. One, two, three, four. Now, <clears throat> I will say when you get to the top, you have to get right on the spot. You you can't go over and you, you can't go under. Well, you can go under. One, two, three, four, five. So you need a five to get there. A six will end your turn. Does that make sense? You have to get exactly the right number to get in there. Three. One, two, three. All right. <laughs> three. One, two, three. I also got a three. You're getting closer. Ooh, five. One, two, three. Four, five. One, two, three. Oh, you are seven spots away. Holy moly. One, two, three, four. So the worst thing you can get right now is a six. Anything but a six and you're happy. Five. Oh, wow. That's fine. One, two, three, four. 
So what number do you need to get in there to get into that last final white spot up in the, uh, the roof? Can you count? So we'll know. How many spaces do you need to go forward? Two. Two. So a three ends your turn, a four ends your turn, a five ends your turn, a six ends your turns. A one moves you one space, and a two wins you the game. Hey, I got a two. I got, I got a long a shot. Two. 99 to one odds right now. That's a one. So now a one is the only thing you got to do. You roll a one, you win. Hey, I got a one for you. I took all the ones right there. Are you kidding? One! Well, there you go. That was a uh, race yes. to the roof. You want to play a, a rematch real quick? Yeah. That was super duper quick. Let's see how the second go game goes. Now, uh, normally what we could do is we could rearrange the house, but I don't really feel like we need to. Do you? No. No. Yeah. So we'll put this piece back in somewhere in there. We'll never know where it is. And then you roll since you won, you want to go again first? Yeah. All right, roll the dice. Okay. That was, uh, that was the shortest game of this ever. Fours. One, two, three, four. All right. Two. One, two. Kid's like, hey, can you shut up, Rover? I'm trying to play the piano. One, two, three, four. You have a five. One, two, five. One, two, three, four. Four. One, two, three, four. One. One. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Uh-oh. What happens if we land each other? We might have to make up a house rule. Your turn. One! Yeeks. Well, that's, this is what's called a roll and move game, which means you roll the dice and you move, and sometimes that can really stink if you don't roll well like that. Which is why a lot of people don't like roll and move games. They're not the biggest fan of them. Five, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. Ding, three. One, two, three. Ding, three. I just, oh! Six. Okay, all right, so... Put it down, oh, so everybody can see it. A balloon, we're looking for a balloon somewhere in the house. I'll let you look for it first before I help. I found it. Where? Oh no, you gotta go backwards. You go look at the guy and the day, the kid and the grandma lady. All right, so then that tile's out of the game and I go five. One, two, three, four, five. I need this. And for the first time in the game, your dad has taken the lead. One. Four. One, two, three, four. Four. One, two, three, four. Two. I got a two. Amelia's getting fussy with her passive. There we go. Oh, tile. Please don't be a bad one. What's please? the picture of? It's a top hat. So let's look for the top hat. Probably shouldn't cover it because it might be there. Nope, not in that one. So now we can put it there. Please don't send me backwards. This is hard. I think you're going to be happy with it. Where... I found it! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So you gotta go all the way up to the, yep, nope, no, no, you go on the red circle. Oh gosh. Yeah, yeah, that's a that's a pretty big jump for you. I got a one though. I'm creeping up there. I'm like the tortoise. Not the one playing Minecraft either. The one that stinks at racing because he took a nap. I know. Oh, never mind. That's the hair. Uh, one, two, three. So now you are four spots away. You cannot get bumped back. Amelia's mad at me. She's like, Dad, why do you stink at this game? Can you move me two spaces? One, two, my turn. A four wins the game. A one gets you one step closer. How about a six one time? I haven't had any sixes. One, two, three, four. Let's go. Give me a six. What do you need to win? Five. No. What do you need to win? Three. So a five loses your turn. 
and your dad gets closer. One, two, three, four, five. Come on, give me a six. Wait, this one has double red circles. Does that mean you get to go to either one of the red circles you want? Well, I imagine, okay. Your turn. No, I rolled the one. Oh, then you move one. Still your turn. I yeah. did. Oh, you move one? Yeah, right there. Well, how many did you need, didn't you need to move three before? Oh, um, yeah. So you didn't move one. Then, your turn. I just wanted to check something real quick. Uh, so if you roll six, you must draw a chance card, find the thing. Uh, once you found the object, you go to the red space just below it. Oh, so I guess you just get a pick when this one has two red spaces. Not that I care. One, two, three, because I'm pretty cool. What do you think about this game, buddy? I like it. Do you? Do you like it because you're winning? No. Do you like it because you like all the crazy randomness that happens when you go flying around the board? Yeah. Also... I like the pictures. Oh, you like the pictures? Okay. Like that. Cool. Uh. Come on. Five. Ooh, no time for you, sir. One, two, three, four. You're creeping up there. Almost up to the third floor of the house. Oh. Three. Nope. One. You can't go three. Oh. You need a two now to win. And you're never going to get it. Never going to get it. Three. Nope. Six one time. Oh, I might have a shot. I have a pillow. Where is a polka dot? Oh, big sneeze. Whoa, good find. Which means, boo! Oh, man. First time. Are you not happy with that? Oh, game over. Good game, buddy. Good games. That is Race to the Roof from Ravensburger. It looks like it might be a cup of tea. Be sure to check this one out. I think it's probably out of print for good reason, I think. Uh, but if you're enjoying the content, please be sure to click on the subscribe button down below. We're trying to reach 10,000 subscribers. So we're at my 10 year anniversary of making YouTube content. And in the comments down below, if you could have any one room in your house, what would you want it to be? Anything you want, Any cra the craziest idea that you can think of that you would want. You can have a room full of nothing but a mashed potatoes and gravy fountain. I know. Mine would be a ginormous closet filled with gold. Whoa. Well, that'd be pretty useful. Kind of like your own little uh, Gringotts bank vault. Yeah, <laughs> the Gringotts. Uh, for me personally, I would like a room that is a gigantic basketball court like a full size you know what no i want a full size football field and then uh yeah and then i can also host like uh board gaming conventions out there in the middle of the football field our house would have to be really big but i guess if i had a a thing full of gold i could just buy that couldn't i in the in your closet down here mm. you could i could just put the gold mine. But that would attract dragons, and I don't know if I want dragons. We already have mice. But I guess the, the dragons would probably take care of the mice, wouldn't they? Dragons aren't real. What? Yeah. Who told you dragons aren't real? There's just a city that got caught on fire a couple days ago. Pennsylvania. On <laughs> civilization! <laughs> Okay, let me know in the comments below. And as always, thanks for your time, YouTube. Bye-bye. This video is brought to you by all of my amazing Patreon supporters, and I would love it if you would join their ranks and have your name immortalized in the end of many of my videos for the end of time. But consider for only a dollar a month, and as always, thanks for stopping by.